Wake Speed, Basic App Overview, How to Download. Let's demonstrate how to download and install the Wake Speed application. This application is supported on both iOS via the Apple Store and Android via the Google Play Store based devices. For the purposes of these training videos, we'll be using an Android based tablet. Begin by opening the Google Play Store. In the search box, enter Wake Speed. Next to the Wake Speed app icon, tap the Install button. Once the install is complete, tap the Open button or find the application icon on your device. After the splash screen, upon opening the app for the first time, you'll see a welcome message. Tap Accept to proceed. Overview. The Wake Speed application can configure your regulator. It can monitor it, it can capture logs, and it can update it. To begin, the first screen that populates is the configuration screen. You can navigate to other screens by pressing the home icon in the slide out. Page options include configuration, monitor, logging, device, setting, and about. The top four options are related to the regulator itself, whereas the settings and about pages are for the application. Let's take a quick look at each of these pages. The configuration screen allows you to define what your alternator is, identifies your battery and your system, and allows you to create a custom configuration for your specific install. The monitor screen allows you to monitor what's going on with the regulator. In this specific case, we aren't actually connected to one yet, so that's why we're seeing this message. The logging screen is a very powerful tool. It lets you capture runtime logs and then share them with others, such as support or for transfer to a computer for later assessment. Sometimes, you will want to understand what's fully going on in your system, and by logging the information in real time, you're able to capture a lot of information, insights, and what's happening with the battery, with the alternator, as well as the regulator itself. Next is the device screen. This is where you can do things such as update the firmware and retrieve some last known fault information. And again, since we're not connected to the regulator directly, these things are not enabled at this time. The settings screen control how the application itself would operate. There are a couple of sliders on here. One is expert mode. Expert mode turns on some additional capabilities and it opens up the full ability to understand what's going on with the regulator and the ways you can configure it. If you're going to use expert mode, please note that you need to fully understand how the wake speed products work to avoid causing any accidental damage. Reference our Wake Speed 500 Communication and Configuration Guide available on our website for more information. Expert Mode allows you to use the app to get into all of the specific advanced details and options inside the regulator itself. As for device database updates, we have a number of databases within the application that are used to drive the configuration screens. For example, on the configuration screen, you will be asked to pick an alternator by brand and model. Those databases can be updated, and this feature here allows you to have those databases updated in real time. When you hit the toggle, you'll see a warning pop up about the device data usage. The reason we make this optional is because you might be in a situation where your internet usage is metered, and you don't always want to have the application reaching out. Lastly, you can hit Update to start the update instantly. And finally, we have the About page you'll see the app version number and the WakeSpeed website. So that's a brief overview of the WakeSpeed Configuration Utility app. Be sure to watch our other videos that go through each of these features in greater detail.